Let's make sure the heat in the pump house is on. That we don't want any pipes to freeze and burst. Yep, the heat's still on. And that's good. Look at that, it is windy. Something was walking back here. Interesting. Yeah, something was. I would guess that it was a cat, but those are a little big. Anyway, that's the old store across the street. That's the old abandoned store. But. What you do is if you got propane heat, you are. Uh, I'm gonna build an actual enclosure for this thing. Hopefully the regulator isn't frozen. Anyway, you turn on your tank if you got propane. If you got natural gas and you have a valve outside, you turn that on. Of course, this is assuming all your inside valves are already off. I don't know if you can see the smoke come out of the chimney and the wood stove. We have four, four fireplaces and one wood stove. And right now we're burning the wood stove and one of the fireplaces and it is hot in there. Good. See, all the snow is right on the edge. Keeping the snow up. Anyway, let's turn the light on. Your outside gas is on. You remove it. If you have a Empire unit or a gas insert in your fireplace, gas logs, and uh, most natural gas and propane. Uh, burner style uh, sources of heat they light similar to this the gas valves are similar the Empire unit bottom turn some light on bottom uh, left see it's in the off position and that's off turn that on and there might be some air in the line all right, so I'm gonna give it a little bit. Loosen the little window. Loosen the right wing nut. Loosen the left wing nut. And swing the little door. Don't take the nuts off. Swing the door like that. That way you can see your, uh, your pilot. Your tank is on, that is on. Come up here, see the little indent thing? That lets you know what position you're in. Right now it's in the off position. So you turn it uh, counterclockwise to pilot. And then you push in on it like that. See? Push in. And while you're pushing in, see that red thing? That's the igniter. I'm going to try to do it with pulling the fire. And can you see the flame? Oh, I'm going to have to turn the light off. Let me bear with me here. see that's the pilot and you got to keep it held in for like a minute if you just light it and release it'll go out it took me a long time to get this thing working because it it wasn't used for years 
ran to Lowe's through uh, the barbecue aisle <laughs> and uh, grabbed some parts and it's working and once about a minute is passed you release yep see I released it and it stay lit so then you rotate this from pilot to on see now it's in the on position and once it's in the on position that's your thermostat right now it's off I'm gonna crank it up to heck let's crank her up to 70 it's right at 70 that's a lot of heat but I got it right at 70 I don't know if you can see so what's gonna happen now is the burner the burners stick my finger up here the burner is back there eventually you're gonna see a nice horizontal blue frame blue flame pop up basically the, the thermostat is telling the gas valve hey let's send some gas in oh there we go see you got that nice blue flame that's what you want all right now you close this you don't leave the window open close that tighten the wing nut all right and once this whole unit of the rusty looking stuff that will heat up that's where the flame is enclosed there's a, a thermostat right there it senses the heat this is the fan control the blower control that's the blower right there eventually once it gets up to temp that will kick on and it blows air out here but with the cover on it almost creates a uh, a positive pressure within the unit and hot air streams out of these vents and the top even without the blow on you get a nice radiant heat out the top but with the blow on with the blower going and the cover on is is almost like it pressurizes this area and the hot air streams out of it don't put anything on top here this the whole thing even a cover this whole unit gets hot so let's get the cover on let's see if I could do it with one hand yeah look at that just let it sit on the hooks on the top and push the bottom in and it's on yep nice heat coming out of there eventually the blow will kick on and uh I wish I had a uh, like a thermometer or something that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a wall mounted thermometer and I'll put it on the far wall over there yeah a little wind blew this open we need to uh yeah see the wind blew some of the insulation I need to put the fascia board on the outside and seal that up see up there seal all that up and we need to decide what we're going to do with this hot tub. See, it's a... It, I'm guessing it's a four-person hot tub. If it is a four-person hot tub, I mean, it must be a special type of four-person four, four because you're going to be kind of intimate in that thing. You're going to be right up against each other. But I digress. It is cold in there. Let's close, turn this light off, close this door, and keep the heat in here. This is uh, a little uh, cabinet thing. We drove to Maryland to pick this up. My wife insisted that she we have it. It's an old school metal uh, enclosure. The countertop is pressed wood, I think, and it's a porcelain uh, painted iron sink. And I hooked it up to the plumbing. I got that work because in the years past, the pipes froze and burst. So cut out the bad sections and replaced it. Uh, that's the old little mini heater. That thing, believe it or not, it works. It leaked. But what I did, I took the gasket out, flipped it, put it back in. No more leaks. And you see, I have to disconnect it. I made it with a quick disconnect so that when the temperature starts to drop, I could just unscrew and lift it off because you don't want any water in the line unless your lines are wrapped with the uh the heat tape because it'll freeze and burst your pipes 
Of course, I have to up, upgrade the uh, the faucet because the old one wasn't working. But uh, let's see what we got here. Yep, nice and hot. And again, once it, because remember this whole thing is was ice cold, so it's going to take a while for the enclosure itself to heat up. The thermostat is going to. Uh, sense it the little sensor is going to sense it and it's going to trigger the fan the blower and the blower is going to pressurize the inside and hot air is going to come out here and the top i did these hardwood floors last winter it was freezing then event it was like late at night and it was freezing eventually we ran out and got that it from our storage shed. We didn't. We got three of those. Two of the rectangular ones, one of the circular ones, and they were given to us. One of them was brand new in the box. We've been blessed, and to all the people that look out, we appreciate it. Please believe it. All right. What I'm going to do is go on the other side and check in some things, but. I just wanted to show you, see the wind just blew it open again. I just wanted to show you how to light your Empire natural gas or propane heater.